one day away from the Great American Race. It's live tomorrow on Fox. Right now, it's all about the NASCAR Xfinity Series. 21 of 30 laps complete in our opening stage. And while we were away, Caesar Baccarella kissing the wall. Oh, like just skimmed it a just bit. Just a kiss. Not even a tire mark was left behind by Caesar. He was 13th here last year, driving that 90 for Mario Goslin. I think just kind of went to the right. It may have got a bad pocket of air. Who knows what happened there? Working toward the end of this opening stage, and we were talking during the break, do you play any strategy? Because if you pit right now, you could make it to the end of stage two before you had to pit again. Well, what's your thought process in that regard, Michael? I, I like taking that gamble if I'm at the back of this lead pack because you could get on an on and off pit road and not lose a lap, stay out when the others pit and get that track position. Hey, I like the Gibbs cars early, all three in the top seven, including Bell, Matt. Looking good so far. Christopher Bell and Jason Ratcliffe, similar comments when they were debriefing after practice, about 15 laps in the draft. Bell said the car had a little bit different feel. Wasn't quite sure if it was the new Supra or if it was the new flange fit body that they're running here at Daytona. It's really hard to tell. The car on the free side, but not bad. Regan? Matt, a lot of guys were unsure of what this race would look like today. The one guy that told me that he felt like it would go to the top, like what we're seeing right now, was Austin Sindrick, one of the youngest guys in the field. But he said after practice, the way his car was handled, he felt like this would happen. They'd go to the top of the racetrack. He's one of the young guys, but you know having him as a teammate, he's a real student of the game. He studies this stuff hard. He does. Austin does a great job at asking questions. I can't say how many times last year he'd call me on the way to a racetrack and say, what do you think about this or what should I look for? He's a real student of the game here, and uh, and you could see by his improvement over the last year or so uh, that he's really got more comfortable behind the wheel of these Penske 4s.